Good day, this is Jim Pytel from Columbia Gorge Community College Renewable Energy Technology Program. This is EET 121 Digital One. Today we're going to have a brief discussion of parallel binary adders. By now you should be pretty uh, used to using a half adder and a full adder. And now what we're going to do is make use of our full adder to add numbers of more than one bit. Okay, so let's return to just our, our discussion of just plain old binary addition just a single column. So one and one, excuse me, one, one plus one is going to be our sum zero with our carry out of one. And then since there's no other numbers, that drops down. Okay. So now that's single bit addition, which what we can do with a, uh, with our regular full adder here. Now think about this. When you want to do two numbers, excuse me, two bits added together, one, one, plus one zero. So we're going to have one plus zero is a one with a carry out here of zero. And then one plus one plus a zero is going to be zero. That's going to have a carry out of one. And that's our answer is one zero one. Think about it this way. This first columns carry out is the second column's carry in. Dig it? And that second column's carry out is the third column's carry in. So what we have to do is take this full adder right here and cascade them in this manner. So where this carry out feeds this guy's carry in. Okay. So now what is coming in here? Let me make some more room here. Let's put these guys over here. What's coming in here is our two bit number. That's a, a one, a zero. Actually here, let me, let me do it the way manufacturers actually do this. Should be actually a one, a two. Um, and this is B2, and that's B1. And what's happening here? These are the numbers that you want to add. I just think they're, they're merging in a highway here. Where the ones go with the ones, twos go with the twos, they're being fed in. And what you get out here is our least significant bit right here. In this case, it's we uh, we were adding one one is our a, one one, and then one zero. So one, one, one zero. We got out one, zero. And where is that one? It's the carry out of the final stage, MSB. Okay, so that's two bit addition. Basically, all we're doing is we're cascading the carry out from our least significant bit to the carry in of our next one. So now, the big question in everybody's mind is, is what is this guy used for? Well, there is no carry in for this first column. See, there's nothing up here. So you can put a zero there. So what you do for your least significant bit, just ground it. There's nothing being carried in, i.e. a zero kept carrying in. So what you're doing is you're adding in our first column is one and zero. You're doing exactly that. You get a carry out of zero that we have here. And now you're going to have one and one with a carry in of zero. And you get out the sum bit of zero and a carry out of one. Okay? So now all you have to do, it's not a super stretch of the imagination. If you want to keep on adding more bits to this, all you do is just cascade more and more adders. So we're going to jump ahead to a four bit parallel adder. And I really hate this term, but a group of four bits is called a nibble. This is the dumbest thing, second dumbest thing according to uh, compared to uh, pushing the bubble. I really just took, 
I despise those terms. But anyways, let's talk about a nibble. All right, we're going to do four adders cascaded together. And here you go. So you've got a four-bit number A and a four-bit number B, and you want to add them together. In our example over here to the right, we've got 1101, that's A, and 0110 being added together. So our first column, we're adding our 1 and our 0. So think about it this way is these guys are breaking off. A1's going that way. B1's going that way. Second column is a 0 and a 1. So on and so forth. So they're parallel. You know, they're coming in simultaneously. And now what's going to happen is 1 and 0 in our first column right here, it's going to have is our sum is 1, our carry out is being fed over here, and that carry out is a 0. So think about this. We've just fed our carry out, our first stage, to the carry out of the second stage. So it's 0 plus 1. It's a2 plus b2 over here with our carry in of 0. So that's a sum 1, carry out of 0. So we've got to hook this guy up right there. And now it's 1 and 1, a3 plus b3, plus our carry in from the second stage, which is 0. And our sum is 0. And this, this time, we actually do get a carry out of 1. And so what's happening there is basically our carry out is being fed into the carry in of the last column. Now it's 1 and 0 added together, added with a carry in of 1. So what we have is a 1 and a 1 is a 0 with our carry out of 1. OK, and what this is, this is the most significant bit right here, our, carry, our final carry out. And this guy right here was our sums that came out. And that was 1, 1, 0, 0. And our most significant bit was a 1. And our least significant bit was the output from the first stage. So not too hard. So that's how basically you make a parallel, uh, parallel adder. Now, there are chips that are designed uh, specifically with this in mind. You don't have to, you don't have to make these things from, uh, from scratch every single time. There's 4-bit parallel adders and